Hi everyone, this is Matt Archambeau from JordansTutorialsOnline.com and this is podcast number six. And I want to get into today on this podcast, texture. Now I'm in the middle of an anatomy tutorial for members of JordansTutorialsOnline.com and basically this anatomy lesson is obviously of the foot and I kind of drew up until now for the members and now what I would like to do uh, and this is for the members too, but this is going to be included in this podcast. I want to talk about texture. And texture is something that I haven't spoken about too much, uh, at, well actually not at all on any of the podcasts. And uh, basically the, the thing that you want to remember with drawing different types of textures with just a little pencil point, kind of like what I'm using right now, is the direction of your pencil stroke dictates the type of texture that you're going to have. So this little bone right over here on the side of your foot is called a cuboid. And so there's like all little textures on the cuboid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap some line in. I'm going to go up with the lay of the land. It's a round cylindrical bone. All right. And I'm going to, it is a light bone, obviously. And I should not be going this dark with my line if I was going to be realistic with the texture. But since this is a podcast and since you are watching this really small, I have to press down hard. But I would advise you not to like put in these darks like this if you're drawing white bone. So basically, texture would be pencil strokes. So now there's like little kind of doodads on here, like little dimples inside the bone. I'm going to not. Uh, use the same texture, I'm going to kind of stipple a little bit. I'm going to combine that with going with lines that go with the direction of the bone. So I'm going to do little lines here as well. Maybe that shows like a surface plane. There's another little surface plane over here. So if we come to this metatarsal and I wrap around and in. So now I'm basically using different pencil strokes, shorter strokes versus longer ones stippling versus not stippling to show all the diverse texture. So now I've got these little short pencil strokes. They're going to come in. That's going to show a surface plane. I'm going to add some stippling, just putting in some dots to show all the little marks on each individual bone. Okay, now again, I, I feel like I'm going against my own teachings because we are drawing a white object and I am pressing down hard, but I got to really uh, reiterate that this is so important just so you can actually see what I'm doing in this tiny little screen that you're watching this on. So now basically do some long line that comes in. So this little line over here that I'm doing very light is just basically going to be a surface plane shift. So you don't need to do like a lot of tone. You can do surface plane shifts with just line. So if I add a little bit more texture down on the ball shape of the edge of this metatarsal I'm going to just put in a little bit of tone just to show that turn in plane. All right, so now more texture on this little phalange right over here on this part of the toe. I'm just going to wrap that line around, wrap around, just show the viewer that this is cylindrical. Okay, I'm going to put in a little bit of shadow shape. So now texture, I'm scribbling with my pencil. I'm just scribbling going in a circular motion and that circular motion is giving me a different effect than over here. Over here I did short choppy stroke. Over here I'm doing circular motion because I don't want you to see too much texture. So let's go to a bigger bone now and let's go to this fibula. So if we come up to the fibula, I'm going to go with the lay of the land. So I'm, this is very round over here and it's turning under. There's some modeling factors right there. And this is turning under, so I'm going to go wrap around with my pencil strokes, short, choppy strokes, okay? Now I want to include a little convex, and I'm going to include some stippling, some lines that like are little grooves inside this fibula. And I want to press down a little bit harder over here just for you guys so I can show where the, the difference in these two bones, the tibula tibia and fibula, sorry. Uh, this anatomy stuff when you teach it is a tongue twister. I am constantly referring to uh, dictionary.com for this, no plug intended there. Uh, but some of the words are really strange to pronounce because you don't use them all the time. So now with going back to texture, 
I'm just gonna add different pencil strokes. I hope that you can even see this now. You gotta be careful also, you don't wanna run the risk of overdoing. So pick and choose your texture marks wisely. Don't overdo, you still wanna leave an area of your drawing empty. The, you know, you don't want to have texture. This is the other side of the coin and you know, I think it's good for me to tell you what to do and it's also good for me to tell you what not to do. What not to do, do not overdo texture. You need to have an area that is a little bit more simple. And if you have texture everywhere, it, everything just kind of takes itself out of the equation and the viewer's eye kind of rests to the side of your drawing, not on your actual drawing, if there is too much texture going on. Same thing for any type of drawing that you're doing, you gotta leave one area empty. So now I'm just gonna come on down, put a little turn in plane, and I've got uh, a foot, uh, a plastic skeleton here in my studio that I use for these anatomy lessons. So I've, I've detached the foot and the tibia fibula, and I'm looking at it, it's right in front of me. So I've got a bunch of things that I'm looking at and it's more helpful to look at the actual object from life than it is to draw from the photo so I see all these beautiful lines these convex lines that you roll in and you describe to the viewer that this item that you're drawing is partially cylindrical and then there are other sections of this bone where you can show the viewer that hey this thing is not just cylindrical it's also very boxy in some areas. So that's where I'm going to do the texture that is the short pencil stroke. Okay, and I'm doing that right now. I'm just showing some box areas. Okay, so the key here, I mean, I'm, I'm only drawing bone. And when I do the texture thing for my students at the School of Visual Arts, I usually try to include a few different um, textures, like the one tutorial that I always give to my students at SVA School of Visual Arts is I have them draw a wolf from this kind of photo that I give them, a rock, some wood, and some tall grass, and pebbles, and there's like moss on the rock. There's all these really interesting textures that they draw. So for bone, and I'm kind of um, going a little heavy over here, so now you can use your kneaded eraser which I don't have on me, and I'm not going to erase with my pencil right now because uh, it'll make a mess. You could use your kneaded eraser to definitely um, pull some areas out, and that's a whole other way to use this um, texture thing to your advantage. So now I would just probably keep the texture a little bit light on the top plane, and let me just add a little bit more. So wrap around each one of these bones has a little edge to it, side plane. So right at the edge, there's this definitive texture that's going on. It's really cool. I think this is a good exercise for all of you to try to do, uh, to draw a light object, not the way that I'm doing it per se, because you got to remember I'm doing this for a video, and it has to be dark so you can see it, but at home, you know, maybe what you want to do is draw a light object, try to get texture on it, but keep your pencil, you know, don't be heavy-handed keep your light values, keep it all kind of together that way. That's a good way to train your fingers. I'll do a couple more lines here for you. So again, I think this might be like a chapter five or a chapter six in this anatomy tutorial number 10 of the foot. I've got one more bone anatomy lesson to do for members and then I'm gonna so dive in to doing the muscles of the human body and I'm really excited about that. And uh, so I'm going to close off this podcast with just reminding you that texture comes from the different ways that you move your pencil around the page. Short, choppy strokes, long strokes, stippling, edges also. I haven't really spoke to edges, but edges really come into play. The edge of what you're drawing is very important when you're starting to lay down things that are texture. Okay, so if you were going to draw grass... The edge is, you know, going to be very soft and all your pencil strokes are going to be going in like one direction upward and versus if you were drawing a wine bottle, that edge is going to be very kind of synthetic and not organic. Okay, so edges are really um, just as important as a different type of pencil stroke that you use and make sure you have a bunch of sharp pencils. All right. Now, I thank you so much for watching. If you want to leave a review of this podcast, I would totally appreciate that. And uh, I'm probably going to have it on my blog, drawing tutorials online. 
dash blog. There's hyphens in between each word. It's drawn hyphen tutorials hyphen online hyphen blog. I'm also going to post this on my on my blog this video. And if you want to leave a comment there, that would be really helpful. I just started a new affiliate program on the site. So if you're interested in that, just go to drawingtutorialsonline.com and on the left side navigation panel under resources, you will see affiliates and you can read all about it there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.